I run the Binguni Cosmic Park, and generally it's a cosmic project because we deal with things that uh, go to space as much as currently we are building models, as you can see in the background. And uh, generally what Binguni Cosmic uh, Project does is to build models that replicate uh, the major rocket uh, that are being built out there, the ones that take people to space and launch satellites or uh, manned space missions. From the beginning, when I was still very young, I just got interested in everything that flies, planes, rockets, but rockets seem to have really taken the largest part of my interest. And at some point I started building models uh, that fly and I launched them on different uh, uh, methods of pro propulsion. For instance, uh, there is a um, water bottle propulsion where you pressurize and you release and the pressure comes out and it propels the rocket upwards. There's also the air powered rockets and at some point, I also experimented with combustive uh, rockets. I don't have any background uh, in rocketry. It's just something I developed out of passion because I love rockets very much. And, um, well, I did my own intense studies using internet and uh, books. And I, just like I've said before, I experimented by building rockets and seeing if they can work. Uh, working on aerodynamic or on working on aerodynamics and they worked i've been doing it for around 10 years now uh, building models selling to sustain my living uh, apart from other jobs that i do out there and also take my passion to schools where we build rockets with children from scratch and we launch they work very well uh, and my, instru my instructions and currently i've gone big uh, building these very huge models and in future, I would like to build one that actually works. I've been able to uh, visit schools where we can build rockets and I get payments from it. And this is uh, the amount of money I earn from schools I can reinvest back into building uh, a little more expensive models. So currently, I've been able to uh, really up my game. And uh, I've really known a lot of things to do with uh, rocket propulsion and aerodynamics. And so before I upgrade to an, a rocket that can actually be used in uh, doing something uh, more s substantial than here, than what, what I have now, I use those skills to craft uh, those parts from very local materials. So for instance, you can see this one is made of um, <coughs> uh, aluminum zinc sheets. It's also made from very light wood. <coughs> and I also do a lot of molding uh, for parts like the engines of this starship you see over there, as well as the engines of that other heavy launch system. And I also take advantage of the current technology using 3D printing to print the nose cones. We make sure they are as safe as possible because there are guide rules and guidelines to be followed when you are doing such stuff in school. And so we make sure we get a very large field and we make sure we, we know where the rocket is going to land. We also take into account the direction of wind and where people are going to stand, and then we let it go. And uh, about uh, the rules and guidelines, the schools already have um, uh, the authorization from the powers that be. So I'm just working under that, the umbrella of them having the authority from the powers that be. Yeah, the challenges uh, are uh, limitless uh, when it comes to what we are doing right now. Not many people are familiar with rocketry and space exploration. And there are people who still say that these are bombs, uh, the missiles, and like, uh, oh, which place are you planning to blow up? <laughs> Another challenge has been the finances, because I have to juggle building the models here and trying to raise the company that is now the Biguni Cosmic Park, and also balancing it with the uh, making sure there's food on the table for my family. Another challenge has been uh, space. These things actually take a lot of space. And um, we pay for the space here, and it's not, it's not cheap. So here we have the Starship. Uh, this one I built is at the scale of 1 to 15, mm -hmm. of the Starship being built by SpaceX, mm -hmm. uh, owned by Elon Musk. And this uh, rocket is meant to take people to Mars. Yeah. So this is a model of the Starship? So this is a model of the Starship, mm -hmm. which is also known as a Mars ship. Okay. Yeah, it is intended to take people to Mars to make life interplanetary. I'm seeing a lot of things on this thing. Could you explain what, what everything means here? Yeah, I'll just explain the major ones. Mm -hmm. So here we have an engine mount 
an engine mount. So this, in, this engine mount has 33 engines, just as it appears on the rear starship. So each engine here usually produces hundreds of tons of thrust. Mm -hmm. So this where the main part of the engine is covered. Yeah, so they are just usually housed like this. Yeah, and here we have um, carbon dioxide pressure vessels. So these ones carry uh, pressure and gases that are used to maintain pressure on the tank. They are also used for pressurizing the systems that start the engines. And these are called stringers. They just make sure the in structural. <coughs> they, so these are called stringers. These stringers make sure this part is hard because there's a lot of vibrations and forces here. Mm -hmm. These are called chines. So Ch the, Chines. chines. They are called aerodynamic chines. Okay. Mm -hmm. So these aerodynamic chines, they have a, a lot of purposes. For instance, they cover very important systems like wiring, power units uh, that are used for, uh, you know, are used for working the systems within the Starship. Mm -hmm. These pipes here are called um, uh, propellant delivery pipes. Mm -hmm. Here we have the methane delivery pipe that feeds the engines and we have an um, oxygen delivery pipe. So these ones take the um, propellants to the engines where they are burnt and they produce the thrust that propels rocket. So here you can see what, what we call grid fins. Mm -hmm. uh, they are usually four on the first version of the Starship. So these grid fins help um, in maintaining <coughs> the orientation and also balancing the booster while during the boost back uh, okay. as it comes down. This part is what separates uh, the booster from the main ship. Mm -hmm. the starship so you build this massive structure here this model what do you aim to achieve with this the first aim of building this model was actually to kickstart the Binguni cosmic project where we are going to have a park and this park is just <coughs> to bring the universe closer to people our aim is to establish a space park so space park is where people can come and interact with the the machines that are used for exploring space, that are used for launching satellites. Binguni means the heavens in Swahili. And now, because we are dealing with things that are meant to, you know, go to heaven, mm -hmm. uh, metaphorically speaking, we decided to uh, name the project Binguni Cosmic. Uh, we just recently uh, approached the Kenya Space Agency because it's the authority that deals with uh, space programs in this part of the land. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have agreed that they will be collaborating with us to forward the interest in space exploration uh, because um, they are the ones charged with uh, doing space programs. And uh, we are going to see how we can get more technical uh, enlightenment from them mm -hmm. and also forward the interest of uh, space exploration to schools and also doing shows from around the country and also making people get more, in more interested in matters space exploration. We are looking forward to actually building rockets that work and uh, we can launch satellites up there and collaborate with the major uh, space players out there like NASA, SpaceX, uh, JAXA of Japan, uh, JAXA of Japan, Roscosmos of Russia and even the Chinese space program because it's from there that we can really get uh, enough technical knowledge and enough motivation to actually build something that works.